Hi, my name is Cricket Quast, and I am with J.K. Bella Events, and I thought today I would talk to you about how to plan your own event. So when you're planning your own event, I want you to think of there's eight different words that start with A that can help you plan your event. So I'm going to go through them. I will first tell you what all eight are, and sometimes you only need to use six. It, it may not apply to um, what your event is. So what they are are anticipation, arrival, atmosphere, appetite, amusement, appreciation, attire, and accessories. So obviously sometimes the attire and the accessories are ones that you may not necessarily need for your event to think about. So I want to start by going over um, them in order of, of how it's easiest to plan your event. So the first one you want to think about is anticipation. What do I mean by anticipation? Think of if you're planning a wedding, a save the date card you may send out six months ahead of time so that people know that you are going to be having this event and if you really want them to be there, they have um, time to mark it in their calendar. Also, along with save the dates, is when you send out an invitation. If, you're, if we're speaking, let's just use weddings again. If we're going to send out wedding invitations, we want to do it six to eight weeks ahead of time. So the anticipation, you want people to know so they can plan and they can be there at your event. So speaking of um, invitations, when you are picking out your invitation, you do want to think about the theme of your event. If it's elegant, if it's going to be fun, if you're doing outdoors, fall, whatever your theme of your event. It doesn't have to be circus or anything extravagant. It's just the feel of your event. So make sure that your um, invitation reflects that so that everything kind of ties in together. So we have anticipation. Our next A word is arrival. So what are you seeing when, when you come up to your event? You want people to um, know where to go. So if there's some, if let's um, if you're having a wedding and it's outside uh, ceremony but inside reception, make sure you have signs telling people where to go. Um, also, when you pull up, is there a guest book? What is our people pulling up to? If it's an evening, um, are there candles leading you uh, along the way? Um, anything that's going to show people what is going on is what you want to think about. So how, and along with arrival, how are people getting there? If your guests are, you're providing um, transportation from one location to another, that needs to be part of your arrival and what you need to think about. How are you and your um, bride or groom getting to your um, ceremony or reception spot? So those all are the things you need to think about with arrival. Um, so we have anticipation, we have arrival. Our next A word is atmosphere. So what am I meaning by atmosphere? Everything that your wedding is going to look like. We did talk about how, when you arrive what it looks like, but the inside or if it's the ceremony, chairs, flowers, um, the table linens, how the tables are going to be set up. How are they going to be set up? Are you going to have tables of 10, tables of 8? Um, are you going to have um, special seating when people come in? Are there, is there going to be a table for cards telling them where to sit? Are you going to have candles? So everything that is going to be your atmosphere of your event, you want to be able to think of when you do the um, think of this A word. Um, you can also look at it as thinking of using your five senses. So um, if there are flowers that you love the scent, make sure that you have those flowers. If there, if you want people to have a drink as they walk in, um, that's part of your atmosphere. Uh, so taste, hear, is there music playing? And um, is there um, anything that is going to be a sense that is going to enhance the atmosphere for your event? you want to think of in, in this topic. So we have anticipation, we have arrival, we have atmosphere, and next we want to think about is appetite. Is your event going to have food and drinks? What kind of food are you going to have? 
Um, again, when you've thought of your theme, you may want to think about what kind of food goes with your theme. If you are um, having an outdoor wedding uh, ceremony and reception, you may want to think a little bit different about what food you have. If it's hot, you may not want super hot food. So all these things you want to think about in your appetite. And when we think about our drinks, um, it's often fun to kind of think if you're going to have alcohol, um, it's fun to think of if you're going to have a signature drink. Something that's um, a little bit more fun, has to do with your theme. Maybe it's named after um, you and your bride or groom if you are having a wedding. Um, and then also very important, I think in my eyes, is are you going to have cake? Are you going to have a wedding cake and a groomsman's cake? Are you going to have a dessert table? Um, and are you going to have a cash bar? Are you going to have an open bar? Maybe you're not going to have any alcohol at all. So these are the things you need to think of when you are talking about appetite. So we had anticipation. We had arrival, atmosphere, appetite. And the next one I want you to think about is amusement. So I know that sounds kind of funny. It's, when I hear amusement, I kind of think of like, you know, juggling or, you know, circusy. It's Amusement just has to do with um, what activities are going to go on. So are you going to have a first dance? And what music are you going to have for your first dance? Are you going to have a father-daughter dance, a mother-son dance? Are you going to have a special dance that your um, bridesmaids and groomsmen come into when they um, walk in um, to the reception? Are you going to have a band or a DJ? Are you going to have, uh, say, a string quartet playing at the, at the reception during a happy, the happy hour before um, reception starts? Or when, during your ceremony, maybe you're going to have different music than being inside. Also, I want you to think about, something people don't often um, remember to think about until after it's already over, is if you're going to have kids at your wedding, which I think is very acceptable... Um, what might you have to help entertain them? Whether it be a kid's table that has some coloring or an activity to do, um, maybe even hiring somebody to help watch the children at some point. And at one point in the evening, if there's a special another room, having a place set up for them to kind of wind down and have someone in there watching while the parents are out finishing socializing. And um, So those are all part of the amusement, the things that um, are going to entertain you in whatever way. Um, so, anticipation, arrival, atmosphere, appetite, amusement, and the, um, the next one is appreciation. What are you going to do to thank your guests that have come to your event and spent the um, time out of their lives to help celebrate you? Um, we often think of favors as, a, as, a, as the thank you. But I also want you to think about how are you going to thank the people that helped you to make the day happen. Um, if we're talking about a wedding, often parents have helped quite a bit, the bridesmaids, the groomsmen. So, you know, what favors are you going to give to your guests and have it, how, how's it going to go with your theme? Um, how are you going to thank your parents? And also something to think about that once was told to me and I thought made a whole lot of sense is when you are doing your toast, and often the father of the bride will give a toast, make sure that not only are you thanking the guests, but maybe the father of the bride also thanks the mother of the bride, um, because often the mother of the bride does a lot of work, and um, typically the father of the bride kind of gets the, all the credit. So um, something fun and nice to think about is having that father of the bride Thanking the mother, too. And also the groom's parents, as well. Uh, anymore, it's not just the bride side of the family that's, that's helping out. It's the groom's side of the family, too. So, you know, appreciation, I think, is extremely important. Not only thank you notes later on, but thanking the bridal party, giving them something just to say thanks for all the time that you've put in to helping make our day special. And, um, and then, so we have anticipation. We have arrival. Atmosphere, appetite, amusement, appreciation. 
And then the last two, I had told you, like, there's two more A's. And the next one is attire. And although you kind of always want to think about what you're wearing to an event, a wedding especially, you really want to think of the attire. So if you're going to have a wedding that, say, is formal, um, first of all, make sure you have that on your invitation so that people know, um, which I always kind of um, shy away from formal because most people do not have the formal attire and and they have to then rent it and it it makes them a little bit uncomfortable. But um, if you are going to have a formal event, make sure you have it on there. Um, <clears throat> for the attire, if it's a wedding, then obviously the wedding dress and the what are the groomsmen's groom and groomsmen going to wear? Are they going to have suits or tuxedos? Um, bridesmaids, are they all going to have matching dresses or colors that kind of go? Um, all those things you need to think about um, when you are uh, planning an event. Um, <clears throat> and I'll lead into accessories with that. So with your attire, accessories are important too. Hair pieces, cuff links, um, flower girl baskets, uh, the veil. Um, let's not forget the jewelry and wedding rings. Um, earrings, necklaces. If it's going to be outside and it's cold, make sure that there's shawls for your bride and for the bride and the bridesmaids. Um, you may want special shoes to change into. If there's any brooches or um, anything that is going to go with your attire, will be the accessories. So we have anticipation, arrival, atmosphere, appetite, amusement, appreciation, attire and accessories. So if you are wanting to plan a wedding or an event, I would start by writing down all these A words and start planning from there. It really does help you organize your thoughts and from there then you can um, plan a little better, see where you need the help. Um, if the appetite, like food isn't something that you know much about, you know you can try and look for someone who can help you do that. If um, also important too is what is the most important thing for you in your event? If you really love sweets like me, maybe you want the cake to be the centerpiece and you're willing to spend a little bit more on the cake than you do, um, say, the flowers. Or maybe flowers are the most important thing. So you're, you know that you're willing to pay a little bit more for that. Or if the music in the DJ or a band is something you absolutely want and don't want to um, scrimp on, then you know that you can take that away from your budget in another spot. So I really hope this has helped you, and I look forward to doing more of these in the future to help you plan your events. Thanks.